Right then folks, back on the video. I thought this could lead me where I want to go. It's just a, it's, it's a diversion really. Um, save going up past the church. It looks to me, I know they do have cows in this field um, in the summer. I haven't seen any, I must admit. But it looks to me as if I, they say, go up there, go across a field and, um, yeah, I'll probably, I'll probably do it. I, I like to explore different routes because um, I know the other route. It's very steep, but this is a different route. Today is a day of exploring. Over there we got the old Perrin Hill. And, uh, I mean, if it doesn't work out, I just turn back. I don't really mind. I know it ain't really far once I get over the hill. I mean, I'm going to be in the hut, isn't I? And then before you know it. God, look at that's churned up, isn't it? Right, let's just have a look down there. You see, if you go that way, That'll take you back that way. Right, it's handy to know these different routes. It's handy to know. I'm just going to have a scan. They don't know if this cows are out, but uh, this is Sheila exploring on the 17th of March 2021. Looks like a, quite a muddy field. Somebody's looking after the poo bins out here. That's good, isn't it? That's a plus sign. <sighs> Public bridle path. I've seen this route in the distance. So as long as there's not cows, I'm quite willing to risk it. But it could be sending me just up to the Roman road, which is not really where I want to go. I want to cross the Roman road. I'm looking for a way through. I don't... That way will take me somewhere. I'm hoping there's a gate over there. It looks like there is, yeah. If you've got your zoom lens, you can zoom in to the gates. There we are, look. See, there's a gate. Healthy manure. This is a new route for me. And I know there will be cows out here eventually. I'm just doing it a slightly different way, if you think about it. Um, so, that's what I'm doing. There's the road up there. Some big houses up there, look. Look at the big window front that's got. Great views. Yeah, the Roman road will be up the top. Coming this way, it's actually allowed me to ascend. Um, it's allowed me to ascend probably easier on a nat natural incline even if it doesn't take me where I really thought I was going um, I'll do this route for now I don't mind I don't really mind um, I was on top of Pern Hill earlier you can see it looks quite a defensive hill can't you from here I can be a bit sharp with people sometimes because what it is, some people 
assume I've never been here before. I've not actually done this walk and I don't sound like they didn't either. But they seem to think I could get this way. One way or another, I'm getting, I'm getting up there. There's, oh, this is a good view. Look, there's the church. Yeah, there's the church. Normally I'm on a lower little track down there, leading close to the church. I would come out opposite it normally. I'm already climbing now. I'm already climbing, but I can see cows out up there, look. I zoom in up there. There are cows about, look. See? So, it is, it won't be long before they're in here. Let me tell the truth. Now I'm gonna turn off a minute and take some photos. Over and out. Right, everyone. I'm going up a footpath now. I've gone. I think I've probably gone right off track, but it doesn't matter. I'll end up on the Roman road. Um, it doesn't really matter. This is this is a new route. It's only by wandering about like this that you find these routes but it had a sign for a bull back on that little uh, staircase place I was a minute ago um, so it won't be long before there's cows in that field oh, it's nice doing a different route actually I'm enjoying it it's just it's all uphill and I hate hill oh, this looks like a Forsythia, doesn't it? Yeah, it is, I think. Probably the back of someone's garden that needs a lot of work doing on it by the look of it. I reckon this will take me out into the field again in a minute. We're going in the right direction. But I have seen cows out. I have seen cows out. Yeah, we're actually climbing up. The church is getting, looking lower and lower. If I stand here, you can see the church. Through there, look. So I am going up above it. And there's Brent Knoll behind it. I'm gonna have to stop and take a picture because I haven't had a picture from this, um, position so over and out for a minute right then I've come across this field from down there further round this is a horse field as you can see from the dung this is a horse field that's Helen's Hill over there and I'm going to follow this little wood through um, I can see some little rabbits hopping about up there um, and there's a some big sort of cart horse type horses feeding from a trough in a field further down but as you can see they're normally up here they're quite often up here now fortunately I spotted the yellow marker on the tree when I was further back I spotted the yellow marker so this is really good this is like real exploring it's it's very stimulating because you know I know the other way up would have been Sheer. This is a gradual climb and it's very interesting. It's weaving in and out little pathways. Um, I've been lucky that there haven't been cows and uh, I'm doing a steady climb upwards. So unlike if I'd gone my original route and gone up past the church and then started the climb that would have been very, very steep indeed, and I was worrying about that. But as you can see, I'm going to have to take my hat off. I am quite warm, but I'm going uphill. But this is all new. I've never been here on this bit ever. Um, and I am going uphill, so I will sound a bit breathless. But this is an old path. I don't know if this is the old 
original Mendip way. They did say there was a... It actually looks like there's a way in through there as well. We'll probably see all that in a minute. All I know is I'm heading towards the Roman road eventually and the golf course, so we are on track. And it's nice to actually have <clears throat> had the chance to come into the countryside a bit because I thought it's going to be a very roady walk, but it's actually turned out to be very interesting indeed. Look at these old stones, looks like they've been here for a while. Of course I mustn't just think there won't be cows, I've got to go into other fields yet. So I think this is a, a route for the winter. Because my feeling says we are entering farm animal country. So far so good. We're not far from the road either. I'm just starting to get a bit thirsty now and peckish, but I'm not going to have anything till I get up the hill. I shall start eating and drinking once I get to the golf course. <sighs> yeah, this is, when you've got time in your hands like this, it does give you that chance to explore. They said it was going to be dry today as well, so that's what I'm doing, folks. Exploring and looking out for cows. And looking out for signs. So far. This looks like badger country. All these holes look, it could be rabbits, of course. And here we've got a sign, a step sign, a foot stop, taking us through a little valley. Public footpath. So far so good everyone. Across this little, once again, cows, uh, horses seem to come here. This is me very horsey. So I'm just going to follow this up. follow up. I'm a bit breathless, forgive me, but it is quite a climb that I'm doing. Um, I mean, I've come up from being right down to right up. Right, I'm going to turn off again. Unfortunately, a, a horse made a neighing noise. It sort of warned me that there were horses here. There's three big horses there. Fortunately, they've got fresh hay, which has distracted them. There's the golfing house there. I'm actually very near the golf course now, very near. I've actually come up a quicker route than the other way, I think, but more risky this way. Horses and cows, so. There's Brent Knoll. So I came up from down that way. I climbed up around those bushes just to get the view. Good job I did, because if I'd come up through there, they could have decided to come and say hello, but they haven't. They're more interested in that nice fresh hay look. But normally they're galloping around all around here. So I done it and I judged. I saw the silver gate. I thought, God, otherwise how would I get in there to escape if they did decide to gallop at me? I'm not saying they would and they wouldn't hurt you on purpose. But this is the Roman road, folks. So I've done quite a Quite a big hike from down there, right down there. Pern Hill, bypassing Bleeden Hill. Well, this is all part of Bleeden Hill, this area. Um, I've never, I think what I'll remember about this is there are horses and possibly cows, so it is a bit of a risk area, but we've got to the golf course. We've got to the golf course. It's just up there. This is the Roman road that I've cycled down, walked down. Um, this road works. I was thinking about that I would come out in a field over there. 
and I probably could have done if I explored a bit more but yeah, I'm just taking my time still the wood house yeah that's a very intriguing place a big wooden hut in behind there someone's den definitely as long as I can get in the golf course that's the main thing so there's no one playing golf Yeah, I reckon there's a gate down a field just down there, down here, that I have seen. You can I get in a gate further up, but if you look over this way, there is a way down through some of these fields that I've that I've just um, negotiated. Oh, I'm gasping for a drink. This is all Helen Chill that I'm coming up to now that I normally walk through, but I think there would be a gate down the bottom of here. Anyway, I've explored. I have explored. I'm gonna just explore a bit more. Right, over and out.